and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 
Call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. 
But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 
Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, Keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. Let us pray. Our great and mighty God, you are the source of strength and power, the creator of the universe. You are our great God who is faithful, God who is loving, gracious, compassionate. You made the heavens and the earth, and you are all-powerful God. No one can be against you. You reign on high. You are our God. All-knowing God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you, Lord, thanking you for your goodness and faithfulness. Thank you for answering our prayers, for all the things you have done in our lives. Thank you, God, for renewing our strength, for the good night rest. And thank you for you have strengthened us. You are preserving our lives and you are healing our bodies. Emotionally, you are healing us intellectually. Relationally, relationally. Maraming salamat Lord sa araw na ito. Thank you for your 
continuous uh, manifest power. This morning, Lord, I will trust you that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will allow us to feel your presence. You will guide us with all wisdom and understanding and that you will make us a blessing today. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my loved ones. And thank you for I can entrust into your cares. Our aunties, uncles, friends and relatives, loved ones, brethren. Especially Lord, those who are listening this morning and with their family, I am entrusting them into your cares that this day will be another day of victory. Thank you, God, for I can declare blessings upon blessings for your people. For healing us, for sustaining us up to this time. Maraming salamat, Lord. Habang kami magpapatuloy sa aming pagpasalamat, pagsamba, I hope you will find us grateful and thankful. I thank you for these individuals na dumadaan sa programa ito. At nandyan sila, konektado, nakikinig. Lord, I am declaring blessings upon blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly and spiritual blessings, every good and perfect gift that comes from above will continue to manifest on your people. And thank you for leading these people in joining, guiding them to join in this program. And I will trust you, Lord, that you will lead more people to join us in praising you, giving you glory and honor. Encourage one another with their presence, praises, and testimonies. And thank you, Lord, for I can pray for all the prayer requests na mayroon ang aming mga partners and trusting them into your cares. Thank you also for the ministry that you have entrusted to us dito sa, as missionary dito sa Japan. And I'm praying for Anjo and Hekinan churches. Everyone who is part of this ministry, church leaders and officers, members, every family representing this fellowship and church with their children, I am entrusting them into your cares. Have mercy on them, O Lord, even for those who are struggling emotionally, mentally, spiritually, struggling relationally socially Lord some of them are preparing for work today and some of them are coming home from work I will trust you that you will empower them guide them preserve their lives and make them a blessing Maraming salamat Lord for yesterday's victory Maraming salamat for you have answered our prayers and also thank you for this Monday beautiful Monday for us to experience again your goodness and your faithfulness be glorified O Lord and magnified as we continue to trust you learn from you live with you and we desire for your presence and may your people be conscious of your presence sa kanilang gawain 
that's in the community whenever they are in the community make them a blessing keep everyone from any harm from any danger in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ uh, those who are experiencing pains in their physical bodies I will trust you, O Lord, that today will be the day for them to experience recovery and healing. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining us. Maraming salamat na bumabalik na ang aking natural na boses. And thank you for the healing. And thank you also for those who have been praying with us and who are praying for us. Maraming salamat, Lord. Today, we will trust you that you will guide us and that at the end of the day, we can praise and thank you because it is you who have guided us all throughout our days. Maraming salamat, Lord. I will trust you, Lord, that you will send more people, brethren, your children, to join in our program, praising you, giving you glory, giving you thanks, encouraging one another with your words and with their morning greetings. And also, Lord, maraming salamat for I can pray kung may mga requests man mamaya. I know that you are going to listen and you are a listening God. Maraming salamat, Lord. Be glorified as we continue to trust you. At magpapatuloy kami sa itong programa na ito. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Well, mga partners, good morning, good morning, good morning. Mayayong buntag, magandang umaga. Today is Monday, April 8th. Another day to experience the goodness and faithfulness of God. Maraming salamat, mga partners, sa inyong mga prayers for us. Ito, mga partners, nakabalik na tayo for online. Program natin, morning prayer and praise lahat. Kayo, welcome na welcome dito sa ating programa. Thank God for the partnership na mayroon tayo. I thank God for your commitment in serving the Lord, trusting Him. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. Well mga partners, may mga morning greetings tayo kaming sa ating mga partners. No? At sana nandyan pa sila nakikinig. And I hope you can stay for a few minutes so that we can pray Uh, yung mga concerns ng ating mga partners and we will learn together uh, especially sa salita ng Diyos mamaya we will have our devotional time reading our daily Bible passage babasahin muna natin itong mga morning greetings mga partners pero bago, uh, baba, bago kong babasahin maraming salamat muna kay Sister Rebecca and Sister Myrna for sharing this program magandang umaga dyan sa inyong lahat at regards dyan sa inyong lahat God bless you as you prepare yourselves sa gawain today my morning greetings tayo coming from Ate Teta Carion and si Ate Teta Carion from Sumbuanga City regards dyan kay Sir Boy at sino pa man mga kasama nyo dyan happy anniversary din sa inyo Happy wedding anniversary. Enjoy your day. Good morning din sa iyo. Yan ang morning greetings ni Ate Teta. Sabi niya, good morning everyone. Good morning din kay Sister Rebecca Cabrela. God bless you as you prepare yourself sa gawain today. Thank God for all of your lives. Maraming salamat Sister Aida Espinosa. Sabi pa ni Sister Aida. A blessed morning, Pastor, family, and to all prayer partners. Thank you, Lord, for the recovery. No? Oh, thank you, Lord, for your recovery, Pastor, praying for you and family every day. Maraming maraming salamat, Sister Eliza, and I thank God also 
for your life and in the lives of your family. Maraming salamat sa ating partnership. Mga partners, ito si Leonita Abapo Magalso. Good morning everyone and God bless us all. Ayan ang sabi ni Sister Leonila. Sana nandyan pa siya nakikinig. And good morning, good morning din At magandang umaga dyan Kay Ate Esther Chang Praying for you, Pastor Gilbert Maraming maraming salamat, Ate Esther Regards dyan sa ating mga kapatiran And God bless you Dyan sa iyong family Maraming maraming salamat For the partnership And thank you for praying with us And for us God bless you And ito si uh, Ate Judith Quadra All the way from Australia Good morning to all our prayer partners Ayan, sabi pa ni Ate Judith Quadra Another beautiful day, thank you Lord Ayan, kumusta Ate Judith? Enjoy your days dyan sa Australia God bless you and thank God for the opportunity na binigyan Uh, sa inyo ni Lord regards to kay Honey and the family uh, God bless you uh, regards to dyan kay Kuya Rudy uh, maraming salamat God bless you kasama natin si Ate Tinkel Manalo Alarcon Ate Tinkel sana talipatuta uwi regards sa Likon and congratulations Uh, you have now in your new choir director Ms. Pastora Big Big Regards sa likong Pastora Big Big Every time I'm practice of studies God bless you Ate Tinkel Regards sa likong studies Ito yung family At dyan mga kasama dyan Sa Tugbungan Alliance Church Also greetings coming from Mirna Perez Sa Bakabak Ito si kapatid ko yan God bless you Regards sa likon studies Good morning Pastor and everyone Yan ang morning greetings coming from Sister Mirna Bakabak Maraming salamat mga partners May mga viewers pa tayo Konektado sa atin And thank you for sharing this program um, I hope that Mga partners natin They are doing all good For one week, hindi tayo naka-online and binigyan natin ng time, pagkakataon na marirecover tayo from hoarseness uh, or pause. And thank God, naka-preach na tayo kahapon. Uh, hindi naman masyado disturbing yung boses natin. And from time to time, nagka-cough pa rin tayo. But thank God because He is sustaining us and always is strengthening us. Mga partners, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Reflect muna tayo dito sa mga Bible verses, mga partners. Ito yung ginawa natin just for for us to be reminded yung mga sinabi ng Panginoon and dyan sa Bible. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. Give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 
If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Kayan mga partners, welcome back. Uh, time check muna tayo mga partners. It's 7.26 na. Today is Monday, another day to experience the goodness and faithfulness of God. April 8, 2024. I hope everything is doing well and good sa inyong lahat. And regards dyan sa inyong family. Well mga partners, uh, Habang hinihintay natin yung mga partners natin na may mga prayer request, kayo rin kung may mga prayer request kayo, you can type your prayer request at the comment section at saka you can also chat your prayer request uh, directly uh, sa ating messenger for personal message. Well mga partners, ating Bible, daily Bible reading passage nasa Psalm 100. 46 na tayo Psalm 146 Malapit na natin matapos itong Book of Psalm so, Psalm 146 has 10 verses Since 3 minutes na lang para 7.30 uh, I think uh, pabalikan na lang natin yung mga kung may mga prayer request man morning greetings 
babalikan natin mamaya. Let's proceed for our devotional time. And we will trust the Lord that He will reveal Himself to us with His uh, guiding principles and lessons that He wants us to learn. And we will reflect on uh, this and meditate on these uh, words dito sa Psalm 146. Babasahin na natin ito mga partners, beginning verse 1. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes. In human beings, we cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds, he upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 146 verses 1 to 10 I-review review natin mga partners and let's see what God can teach us today Ito mga partners uh, verse 4 uh, verse 4 parang naintriga ako dito mga partners naintriga ako dito because Uh, medyo this will answer some of our questions or mga questions na ririnig natin sa iba verse 4 it says when their spirit you know, when they when their spirit departs they return to the ground on that day Their plans come to nothing. Sino-sino ang mga yan, mga partners? Sabi nga dito sa verse, Do not put your trust in princess. In human beings. Who cannot save? So, these people, no? These people na mention dito, generally princess and human beings. So, trusting human beings, sabi pa dito, wala, wala silang magagawa. Human beings cannot save. Cannot save. For this reason, anong rason? Their spirit departs. They turn to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Ayan. So, this will this will remind us and uh, uh, 
this verse is telling us that and we can ask the question dito uh, ang question natin dito the body no is the body worth uh, tawag dito uh, worth ba siya for eternity hindi bakit from dust we came our body from dust we will return kahit anong gagawin pa natin sa ating katawan itong lamang lupa babalik at babalik yan sa ground sa lupa at yung mga plano natin no? yung mga desire natin mawawala that will stop if we will leave our body so yung 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 buhay talaga natin ito the spirit or the life no life giving spirit yon ang matitira yon ang matitira sa atin so this also implies that we need as as much as we can we are taking care of our body but never neglect the life-giving spirit in us dahil yon ang matitira saan kaya pupunta if that life-giving spirit aalis sa katawan ang katawan ground or magdidecay but ang life itself saan kaya now ang challenge dito is never to trust in human being not not human being uh, yung tawag dito in person but this also implies yung mga tinuturo nila yung mga plano nila uh, yung mga kagustuhan nila uh, mag-iingat din tayo sa mga tao dahil uh, pwede tayong mabibiktima sa scamming baka ma-scam tayo that's one example na na laganap ngayon no so noon pa man sinabi na ng uh, hari king david na hindi maganda to put our trust in princess doon sa mga talo, tao na kagalang-galang especially for our salvation for our soul for our spiritual life spiritual being natin but sabi dito blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob yun ang nagpapabless if ang Panginoon natin yung Panginoon ng mga Uh, Panginoon nila Jacob ito Panginoon yung the people of the book yung mga tao noon the Israelites in particular they have been experiencing uh, the goodness and faithfulness of God so yun ang Panginoon nila so sabi dito blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob so our God and whose hope is in the Lord their God simply means if we want to be blessed to enjoy life we will put our hope 
in the Lord our God and believe that He is our help. Help. He helps us. As God, as Father, He help us. He is the shelter in the time of storms. Ito mga partners, so challenge nga ng psalmist is to put our hope in the Lord. For these reasons, verse 6, He is the maker of heaven and earth. Now, you imagine our God is the maker of heaven and the earth the sea and everything in them oh, kasama na tayo doon mga partners He is the maker of heaven and earth the sea and everything in them kasama na tayo doon and sabi dito He remains faithful forever kaya better trusts and put our hope in the Lord than to princes, kings and human beings si Lord na lang because he is faithful and always be faithful always be faithful in providing our needs and is worthy of praise. Another reason na we are challenged to put our hope in the Lord because He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. He stands before us and He fights for us in other words. He is with us, upholding us when people oppress us. And God gives food to the hungry. Si Lord ang gumagawa ng paraan to provide every need na ang kanyang mga anak needing food in his own ways he is providing another reason that uh, putting our hope in the Lord is uh, a blessed one because the Lord sets prisoners free and gives light or sight to the blind now he the Lord set the prisoners free and the Lord gives sight to the blind we are we are in some points of our lives nakakulong tayo we are in prison mga partners this speaks of uh, this does not mean yung ano yung literal uh, celda yung uh, rehas na bakal but in bondage or in prison a lot of people today kahit wala sa celda bakal na celda but they are in prison nakakulong sila nakakulong sila sa kanilang past experience nakakulong sila sa mga thoughts and understanding nakakulong sila sa kanilang insecurities nakakulong, nakakulong sila uh, sa kanilang uh, even pananampalataya no? may mga tao kasi uh, they don't want to learn they imprison themselves sa mga bagay 
sa mga sitwasyon at ayaw na silang ayaw na nilang lumabas to the point na nahihirapan na sila the Lord can set the prisoners free and gives sight to the blind we have learned that literally when the Lord Jesus Christ nandito pa sa mundo he was healing literally literally uh, blind person but blindness hindi ilang yung tawag dito physical blindness we can also be spiritually blind hindi natin makikita ang galaw ng Panginoon hindi natin nakikita yung mga dapat natin gawin na pinapagawa sa atin ng Panginoon there are times hindi natin makikita yung yung galawan yung galaw ng Panginoon sa ating buhay kung may literally ano human being na bulag mayroon din spiritual blindness they cannot see the truth about God they cannot see the wonders of God They cannot see. Ang problema dito mga partners, no? uh, if you cannot see those or if you cannot see things, mahihirapan ka sa iyong paniniwala. Diba? Kasi the world will tell us to see is to believe. At maraming, maraming na maraming naniliwala dyan. Uh, adapting that philosophy to see is to believe pero hindi yan sa mga anak ng Diyos because we cannot see God but we can have a spiritual eyes that we can see God how He works we can see God how He loves how He helps we cannot see Him in physical form but we can see Him with our spiritual eyes So, maraming tao ngayon, blind sila sa katotohanan. But God can give them sight na mamulat sila at will come to the truth. Kaya throughout the world, spiritually, marami, nang, marami talaga from day to day had nagkakaroon ng spiritual sight. Nahihil sila they are healed in their spiritual blindness so God is worthy to be praised and God is worthy to uh, entrust our lives you know, to Him and put our hope in Him ito pa mga partners verse 8 the Lord lifts up those who are bowed down The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord
Lord loves the righteous. If we want to be lifted up by the Lord, bow into the, His presence. So, ito pala pwede natin sabihin mga partners. If we want God to lift us up, Bababa muna tayo. Bow down muna tayo sa Kanya. Bago niya tayo, ililift up. E kung feeling natin, hindi na natin kailangan ang Panginoon, paano naman? Paano na naman mangyari yun? Feeling ng tao, mataas na talaga siya. So, ang tendency, God will pull him down. Kaya maraming nag nag-experience ng ganun situation mga partners. They are on top of the world. They cannot bow down into the presence of God. So God in his mighty power he can pull people down. And so, mas maganda na yun. We are always down in the presence of God, humbling ourselves before God. And by doing so, He can lift up. He can lift us up. So, also, the Lord watches over the foreigner and sustain the fatherless and the widow and he prostrates the ways of the wicked so hindi pinipili ni Lord ang sinong gusto niyang tulungan even foreigners when we say foreigners hindi kasama sa isang community believers uh, believers they compose a community of God so those who are not part of the kingdom is still God loves them and watches them and they want foreigners uh, God wants foreigners to be part of God's kingdom And He sustains the fatherless. Fatherless. He sustains the fatherless. Especially yung mga fatherless who put their trust and hope in the Lord. And also He sustains the widow. Widow. Ganon si Lord. He never leaves his people. He never abandons his people. So when we think of foreigners, uh, in his heart, in God's heart, they can also be part of his children or his kingdom. Even though they are foreigners, still God is watching them and blessing them. So, ito mga widow din, they, they do not have support, partners. So, God is watching over them. God is taking care of them because God understands how hard it is to live without a partner. Kaya, yung widow, mapalad kayo dahil God will always taking care of the widow. On the opposite, mga partners, God prostrates the ways of the wicked. 
yung gawain na hindi maganda ng mga wicked, they cannot uh, influence God's people. Because God Himself will frustrate their acts. Ito mga evil or the wicked people. Because God is working in the lives of His people, He also work in the lives of these wicked people by protecting God's people from their evil deeds. And God is prostrating the ways of the wicked so that they cannot overpower His children. In other words, He fights for us. God is fighting for us. God is protecting His people from any schemes of the wicked. Schemes of the devil. So those are the reasons, mga partners, that God is worthy to be praised. He is our help in times of trouble and we can be blessed if we put our hope and confidence in the Lord our God so ito ang experience nila Haring David during their time with the Israelites God never abandons them. So, it is better to trust the Lord than in princes and human beings. Because it is the Lord who is working in the lives of His people. Anong pwede magiging response natin dito mga partners? I may suggest we can ask this question am I fully trusting God am I fully putting my hope in the Lord and I hope we are reminded that God is worth trusting for He is faithful. He will remain faithful forever. Amen and Amen. Well, mga partners, maraming maraming salamat. Nandyan pa kayo. And I hope and pray that God has reminded us that God has has blessed us with spiritual and heavenly blessings. Thank you, Lord. Well, mga partners, maraming maraming salamat. Nandyan pa kayo. Uh, may mga morning greetings tayo coming from our partners habang ginagawa natin yung meditation. May mga morning greetings uh, pumapasok sa ating comment section. Tulad ni Pastora Emily Ingaot. Ayan, sabi niya, Good morning, Pastor Gil and all prayer partners. Please pray for complete recovery and normal ultrasound result. Provision. Mm-hmm. I was rushed last night kasi. Nag-bleeding ako. Salamat sa prayer ninyo. God bless. God bless you too, Pastor Emily Ingawat, and good morning. Eto mga partners, my prayer request tayo. Let's entrust Pastor Emily into the cares of our God. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, maraming salamat for calling Sister Emily to be part of your kingdom and working in your vineyard. And right now, Lord, She is experiencing discomfort sa kanyang katawan, particularly 
Ah, nag-bleed siya. She is bleeding. I pray, O oh God, for whatever it is that cause the bleeding. Doctors will be able to find it and see the cause and address this illness. I pray for your favor, wisdom, and understanding, especially for the doctors. We trust the Lord and we desire for a favorable result sa ultrasound. And we can also pray for your provision. Especially Lord, financial needs. Nila Pastora Emily. I will trust you that you will touch people. Your children. That they can extend help. and extend their ministry by helping si Pastora Emily in one way or the other. Maraming salamat Lord for I can pray for this concern ni Sister Emily. She herself uh, dinala sa hospital due to bleeding. So Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, she is healed and whatever medication does that is appropriate for her healing in the name of Jesus Christ guide these nurses and doctors that right medication will be given to Pastor Emily Ingawat this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Another morning greetings coming from Sister Arl Hardison. Praise God for the blessings He has given to us every day. Blessed morning, Pastor. And to all prayer partners, ayan, greetings coming from Sister R. Hardison. Sister Arl, maraming salamat. Good morning and God bless you. Also, si Sister Stella. Good morning, Sister Stella. Uh, good morning, good morning din sa iyo. Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. Kasama ba kayo ni Pastor Sainel? Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. God bless you as you prepare yourselves sa gawain today. Another morning greetings and uh, coming from Sister Jocelyn Suegay. Uh, si Sister Jocelyn nasa Middle East ito I just do not know kung nakauwi na ba siya but maraming salamat Sister Jo for that morning greetings God bless you too and more of God's goodness and faithfulness will continue to manifest sa iyong buhay strength as you are preparing for work today and that God will preserve your life for His glory and for His honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Well, mga partners, yon ang mga greetings sa ating mga partners. Time check muna tayo, mga partners. It's 8.01 na dito sa Japan at 7.01 dyan sa inyong sa Pilipinas maraming maraming salamat mga partners for tuning in thank God for your lives and I hope and pray that everything is doing well and good and always be in your lives I will trust the Lord that today God will meet all your needs and yung mga dinadasal natin para sa ating family and dinadasal natin para sa ating mga projects and plans well, let's continue to trust the Lord because in His time He makes all things beautiful well mga partners it's time to read yung mga partners natin na dumaan at nag-iwan ng reaction pero bago kong gagawin yan, maraming salamat ulit kay Sister Mirna Bakabak and Sister Rebecca Cabrela for sharing this 
program. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa ating mga partners konektado ngayon and doon sa mga dumaan at nag-iwan ng reactions. We will declare God's blessings upon blessings even for those na nag-iwan at dumaan, nag-iwan ng reactions. Maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless you. With hearts reaction, Ping Judilia, Will You, GB Maravilla, Nancy Glasita, Helen Subido, Mirna Perez, and Al Hardison. Also with thumbs up or likes reaction, Barry Alfaro, Judith Quadra, Christy Yumol, Carmelo Abaa, Dexter Yu, or Ian Yu, and Sister Estella. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat mga partners. God bless you. And I hope that we could meet again tomorrow for our online morning prayer and praise streaming live 7 to 8 a.m. dito sa Japan from Monday to Saturday. Last week, hindi tayo nagkaroon ng opportunity because uh, nag-rest tayo because of our voice naging hoarseness for few days thank you mga partners maraming maraming salamat we are about to end this program and God bless you at kung may mga prayer request kayo you can type anytime sa ating messenger or ipm nyo lang together we will trust God for our concerns so maraming maraming salamat mga partners hanggang dito na lang muna tayo today enjoy your day have a blessed Monday morning this program is brought to you by Anjo and Hekinan Ministry on behalf of the leadership and members we want to say thank you for the partnership for praying with us and for us God bless you and have a blessed Monday. Also, on behalf of my family, together with my wife, Pastora Ethel, and our son, TJ, we also want to say thank you for the partnership na mayroon tayo. Dito sa programa natin, Morning Prayer and Praise. Thank you for praying for us and with us. God bless you and have a blessed Monday. Regards dyan sa inyong mga loved ones, friends, and family. God bless you and more of His goodness and faithfulness. His presence provision will continue to manifest in your lives. For the glory and honor ng ating Dios, in the name of Jesus Christ. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. Ito, magtatapos na tayo. Bye for now. Sabi pa ni Ate Judith, God bless you and family. Maraming salamat Ate Judith. Well mga partners, for the benediction, let us pray. And now the love of God and the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with us all. For the glory and honor of our God and Father both now and forevermore. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. God willing, we'll get, in, we'll get connected again tomorrow morning. Same time, same page dito sa ating programa. Morning Prayer and Praise, streaming live 7 to 8 a.m. dito sa Japan. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, si Pastor Gilbert Pakabak, Kamakob Missionary dito sa Japan. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. God bless you all. Bye for now.